Or you imagine you have a friend, like some of us, we have friends who only look for us when they are broke. When he's high and flying, scaling up, nada. Your phone number eh? even gathers dust in their phone. And then one day they remember they are broke. Krr, krr. <laughs> Apostle! <laughs> Apostle! <laughs> Apostle, how many times have I called you? <laughs> Three times. How are you, my man? I miss you. Ah, man, you're hitting. Hey, what's up? Hey, 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 <laughs> now, eh? Ha, I don't know how you'll help me. <laughs> then the lights go on. Quick, 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 quick. Yes. And they, they create, they tell you their need. Then you what? You give. Man, eh, thanks. Eh? By the way, I need to come and check on you. How's your wife? And the kid? They're good? Katia, you tell her. I think it's next week. Next week, next week, Tuesday, Thursday. I could have some time. Good day. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Praise God. My wife can ask, who is that? I say, ah, nobody. <laughs> because I don't want to promise <laughs> that somebody's coming and they... Then you wait one week, they're not calling, one month, they're not calling, four months, six months. Grrr, apostle! <laughs> My guy! <laughs> what up? Brother, I'm coming this Tuesday. <laughs> ah, you see now he remembers what he last promised. And then the need comes through. Now, you know, I'm stuck here. Send me some Kalito money. Yeah, but you know me, I'll get it back. It never comes back and it's okay. But, you know, we also keep such friends. Can you imagine that that's a relationship many Christians have with Jesus? As hard as you may laugh at my friend, some of you, when you start singing, what a friend we have in Jesus. That, that's exactly who you are. It's all your needs and griefs to bear. There is no relationship. <laughs> there is no relationship. Because that relationship is not built. You can never even know in the first place what you really need. Oh, that's a deep one. You can never know even exactly what you really need. Because when that relationship is not very aligned and clearly defined, you might need what you think you need, yet you actually do not need it. And that's the danger of lasting. A lasting is a need that carries no divine purpose. Anything that carries no purpose divinely is a lasting. And even the most well meaning things can be a lasting. I know people who are seeking for the anointing, but they are lasting because they, they're not seeking this anointing to, 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 to serve God. They're seeking this anointing to serve their own personal needs. There are people who are seeking husbands. Huh? And you can think, I want to get a husband so I can serve God better. But when they search your heart, you're not really seeking for a husband because you want to serve better. You're seeking for a husband because Irene and Rachel and you know, all got married and all this, these were your gangos, you used to take wine with and now they're all gone and now you feel lonely in your house and then you want a husband. It's a last thing. Anything, if by truth examined, does not reconcile with divine purpose, is a lasting. Now imagine if a man in his lasting form can receive his heart's desire. That's chaos. That's chaos.